It's the Rob Russell Show! They're the architects of action, marshals of amazement, and leaders in their, uh, field. I'm talking to two of the Super League's greatest captains ahead of their epic showdown. Please welcome Dancing Rasta from Super Strikers and Vladimir Savage from Grim MC. Nice to be here, Rob. Greetings, loud talk show mortal. So, what is the secret to leading on the pitch? Sorry to disappoint, Rob, but there are no secrets. Know your team, know your game plan, and lead by example. That's it. And how about you, Vlad? <laughs> Victory is a certainty when you can see into the very future. So, uh, can you tell me what I'm having for dinner tonight? Macaroni and cheese. Alone. Grimm's ancient powerful book allows me to see moves before they even happen. Behold! The power of the Tactonomicon! <laughs> I prefer to save my performance for the match. Super Strikers! Welcome to Ferratuvia, home of Grim FC. <laughs> so cheesy! How dare you puny mortals mock the mighty Vladimir Savage! <laughs> Dude! Uh, Shakes, Grim just beat Iron Tank for nil. <gasps> and Savage set up every goal. Dude ain't gonna have such an easy run against us. Yeah, even if Savage can tell the future, all he's gonna see is dancing Rasta, kicking his butt. <laughs> if we work together and stick to the game plan, we can put the scare into Grim. All right, guys, bring it in. Group selfie. Beautiful. You do know what group means, right? <gasps> on model students. Terry likes Jenna, but Jenna is kinda maybe into Bruce. Meanwhile, Maurice and Lawrence have declared their totally kinda maybe eternal love for Monica, leaving her torn and confused. Uh, I'm also confused about why you'd want to watch that show. Yeah, seriously, Klaus. Enough with the teen drama. Ha! Huh, model students isn't teen drama, Big Bo. It's a classic coming-of-age story about loving and learning in a college for supermodels. Also, I'm pretty sure Lawrence, the sportswear model, is based on El Matador. Meh, that guy's got nothing on the original. Turba selfie! Uber, what happened out there? No matter how strong you are, or sink you are, nothing can match the power of that infernal book. Super Strikers, welcome to the cauldron. I trust our facilities will be more than adequate for your preparation. Yeah, real state-of-the-art stuff. Kitchen, dining area, viewing room, and most importantly, here is your practice pitch. The D field. Uh, Coach Belmont, dude? Don't you think we deserve a little better than the D field? Oh, don't worry. It's one of the best we have. D stands for dungeon. And finally, let me show you your living quarters. 
Did you know, in 16th century Peratuvia, it was considered fashion to have one's toilet in the bedroom? Listen up, boys. Turns out Grimm's performance on the pitch surpasses their performance off it. And Savage is at the center of everything they do. He orchestrates the play. Dominates the midfield. And ensures goals for his teammates. <laughs> Whoa, the way he knew where the ball was going to be. And passed without even looking. Kind of seems like he really can, you know, see the future. Oh, no. Don't worry, Klaus. There ain't nothing supernatural about it. I'm not talking about Savage. Season four of Model Students ended on a cliffhanger. It's a graduation ceremony at Fashion University, and the students have to walk the catwalk to fetch their degrees. But Monica still can't decide if she kind of totally maybe loves Maurice, who may or may not be a vampire, or Lawrence, the sportswear model. Anyway, Maurice is doing his thing on the catwalk when Lawrence pulls a wooden stake out of his ponytail. Ah, <gasps> oh, come on, guys. It's a good show. What? You can never be too cautious. Yeah, I hear you, Coach. But are you sure you want to lock us in here? Whoa, <laughs> that's kind of creepy, bro. That's kind of spooky. Savage is an outstanding midfielder, but he definitely can't see the future. When you know how your teammates play, thinking two or even three moves ahead isn't in the realm of the supernatural. One. Two. How do you see yourself getting past us, Cap? I don't. Three. Sorry, Shakes. Bad pass. Looks like I need to put in more practice. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That was amazing! Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. so good! I had to there, Cap. You think you're all like, yeah. three steps ahead? Yeah, bro. Boom! Back heel! <laughs> Good practice, dudes. Can't wait to take on Grimm. Uh -huh. That, Shakes, is because you do not know the painful defeat that awaits you. And let me guess. You have foreseen it in the Tectonomicon! <laughs> <laughs> You're confident because you think Dancing Rasta can match me. But I can see five moves into the future with ease. Seems your captain cannot even manage three. Oh, El Matador, I think it is an appropriate time for a shocked selfie. Ah! <laughs> <sighs> How did Savage know about our training? Roggle, roggle, blog. But that humongo door was deadbolted. No way he could have seen us. It's got to be some kind of trick, right? But how is this possible? I've searched every model student's forum, read every fan theory, but no one knows anything. <sighs> the only way I could find out what happens is if I could see... <gasps> the future! The Tactonomicon! Nine! 
Nope. Uh -uh. Aha. Aha. <sighs> uh, hmm? What are you doing? I'm looking for the Tactonomicon. It must be hidden in a secret chamber. <gasps> Just like Maurice's 300-year-old diary was hidden in his fraternity castle glitter vampa vampa at Fashion University. Jenna Board actually goes onto it when looking for Terry, huh? who may be a robot. I mean, no human can hold a pose that long. Hmm? Uh, El Matador? <sighs> it's a good show. Come on, coach. Two training sessions in one day? Complain to your captain. He requested it. He has something he wants you all to see. But Klaus and El Matador aren't here. <sighs> Anyone know where they went? I got this. Klaus totally kinda maybe wants to find out what happens in his silly teen drama. Meanwhile, El Matador tries to set the world record for the most selfies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Hmm? I think I'm finally ahead of the game. Forever and ever. Yeah, it's like the time in model students when Lucy. Mm -hmm. Silent selfie. summons the mighty power of the Tactonomicon to peel back the curtains of time and reveal what happens in season five of Model Students! Huh? <coughs> Please reveal what happens in season five of Model Students! I don't get it. Meh. This is kind of like the time in Model Students when Eric... It isn't a good show, Klaus. That was close. Indeed. Just as well we saw them coming. Imagine the trouble it would have caused us if they'd found the book that really works. <laughs> Night at the Cauldron. Savage terrified Iron Tank with a dominant midfield display, Brenda. But the men in red aren't easily spooked, Mac. It's going to take something magical to win this one. And Grim may have just that. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you buy into that fortune-telling nonsense. Well, sometimes I commentate games so accurately, I wonder if I don't have the gift. <sighs> that is so ridiculous. Eh? Triumph in the Battle of the Captains? Stop it! Ooh! Scary foresight from the Grim Captain! Oh! He unleashes a monster shot! Close call for Super Strikers! Savage, a taste of his own medicine. So close! Ghastly luck for 
Super Strikers. Could it be that Dancing Rasta is also a... A really good player? Two can play this game. The half's almost over and there's still no score. The two captains are matching each other play for play. Drop the act, Savage. I've got you all figured out. Arrogant mortal. Let me show you how real my powers are. Unbelievable! It's like Savage is everywhere at once. What? for his team. And if it carries on like this, you don't need to be a fortune teller to know. Super Strikers are in. For a hiding. <laughs> We're getting pretty good at this. I convinced you guys I could lead you through this, and I let you down. Knowing the team, the strategy, it counts for nothing against Savage. Maybe he really can tell the future. So what? We don't care if he has eight legs and blows fire out of his nostrils. With you leading us, we can beat anyone, anytime, any place. You're the real deal. You're our captain. Team Huddle Selfie! Uh, don't worry, I'll get everyone in this time. Yo, give me that. No, I need to capture this special moment. And how amazing I look. Uh, what's that? Da, the greatest player in the Super League. Ugh, no. That teeny, tiny thing in the background. What is that? Uh... And there it is again. Pablo? A drone camera? Savage can't tell the future. He's spying on us. So that's how he knew all that stuff about our training. But how does that explain his foresight on the pitch? Hmm, I think I know. Okay, Savage, here we go. No pass. 75 degrees left. Back here, then. Left. Dribble 30 degrees left. <gasps> Watch out for! You still think you can match me? Huh. I've seen the future, and your whole world is about to come crashing down. What is Shakes oh. doing? Not even I can predict that, Brenda. Ah! <laughs> now, it's just you and me. Students got cancelled. I'll never find out if Monica chose Maurice or Lawrence. Huh. That's one future I'm happy we can't see. Uh-huh. Check it out, guys. Really? Hmm. 
thought Grimm would have learned a lesson by now. Let's shoot it down! Wait, 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 wait! It's mine! 360 degree group selfie! Bring it in, guys! Oh, never mind, Grim FC. That's a scary face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah! We're in the Super League final! Yeah! Ah, nice nice. Yeah! Big Bo, that triple save rocked all the parties. I know, right? Dude was like, whoosh, boom, kablam! <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, check it out. The Super League final. All right, <laughs> and their opposition, Cosmos FC, have a little message for the men in red. Big Bo, they say you're the best, even unbeatable. Well, I challenge you to prove it. In a one-shot showdown at high noon. Only at Buddy Watkins Wild West World, the wildest time in the West. A penalty shootout? At a theme park? What do you think, Big Bo? Let's settle up, partners. Big Bo? You sure you want to take on Ninja just before the final? Totally! Cowboy was third on the list of things I wanted to be when I was a kid. Right behind Goalkeeper and Dinosaur! Rawr! Check it out, super fans! Lenny the Lightning Bolt? I haven't seen him for years! Klaus? I found the suit in the Strikerland basement. Is that why it smells like an egg sandwich? Pff, no! I've got my lunch in here. That's kind of gross, dude. You can store all kinds of stuff in the suit. Entertainment, Grislovia's favorite soft drink, and my little friend, Giorgio. Well, you're gonna have to find someone else to be Lenny for the final. Aw, come on, coach. I'm on the bench anyway. That doesn't mean you don't have to be 100% focused on the game. My kind of town. Klaus? Uh... What did I tell you about that suit? I know, I know. But where better to find someone to be Lenny's a lightning bolt? <gasps> when I show them the goods, they'll line up to be the new Lenny. <sighs> Fine. Howdy, Super Strikers! Welcome to my town! Here you go! On the house! Bud Dollars? The official currency of Wild West World! Now, go wild! Dude, these carnival games are all totally rigged. See you around, tough guy.
Hmm, staff break room. Milkshake. Yes? Uh, can I get one? Make that two. Name's Deputy Chili Dog. What brings you to town, stranger? I'm looking for someone to take over as Lenny's a lightning bolt. Any of you mascots up for the job? Hey. Come on, it's a great gig! Lots of fans, stylish outfit, and so much storage space. Here, take a flyer. <laughs> Listen, Lenny, being a mascot in the Super League final is something we all dream of. Then what's the problem? <laughs> Move aside, you good for nothing nobodies. <laughs> Official Super League mascot coming through. Hey, that's not very nice. And who are you? Lenny's a lightning bolt. Well, I'm the fastest, meanest, most entertaining mascot this town's ever seen. The Cars Master. Now, why don't you bolt out of here before you embarrass yourself? Maybe I will. Or maybe I'll show you some moves so electric you'll be seeing stars. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> yeah <we're laughs> <on them. laughs> The showdown, the showdown is about, about to, to begin. begin! Ah, this ain't over. That was amazing. I've never seen anyone stand up to him like that. You will be Lenny for the final, won't you? Yeah, and put an end to his villainy once and for all. I... I can't. Okay? Huh. I was so sure I knew where that ball was going. Don't worry about it, man. It was a lucky shot. Yeah, I suppose. The rig ball worked a treat, fellas. When I give the signal, you all know what to do. <laughs> like a runaway bat in the headlights. Uh, I think you're getting your metaphors a little mixed up there, Mac. Come on, Brenda. This is the Super League final. We gotta put in all the stops and go for it like tomorrow is going out of fashion. Challenge. 
Yeehaw! Look out, you nobodies! I'm the Cosmos Star! I'm the greatest mascot this town's ever seen! second half and Cosmos are taking control of this game. But there's one man standing tall in their way. force of natural born talent. All right, that's it. Nothing you're saying makes any sense. Don't make a meal out of a molehill. I'm just trying to spice up some food for thought. <gasps> Stop it! Give me a C, give me an O, and then an M, and then a... Uh, well, I don't need no fancy spelling. I'm the Cosmos Star. Boom! Kapow! Yeah! Coach, you have to let me be Lenny. The fans need him. I thought you were going to find someone else. I tried, but all the mascots are too scared to go up against the Cosmos Star. <sighs> okay, but I want you back for extra time. Hello? Want to know the truth? Meet me in the parking garage. Truth? Huh? Who is it? The two sides couldn't be separated in the 90, so we're going to extra time. Yes, we are. Ugh. Are you really gonna sulk because I didn't like your commentary? No. And suddenly, Super Strike has spring to life. This looks promising. Got shot by Tiger! But the Keeper gets to it! Now there's a chance for the counter! But Ninja plays it safe! Very unlike him! Indeed. Why are they suddenly playing so defensively? Hello? Anyone there? That's close <gasps> enough. The game is rigged. Cosmos are gonna win the final, no matter what. How? I I've said too much already. If the star finds out... Fate! Why are you helping us? Because you reminded me of who I really am, Lenny. I'm a deputy chili dog of the law. We're right at the end of extra time, and the scores are still tied. Cosmos seem happy to play for penalties. But Super Strike us don't. The Men in Red launch one final attack. Block won't have time to take the throw because the Super League final will be decided by penalties. Yep. I don't get it. Cosmos were totally playing for penalties. But why would they do that with the big man on fire? Because Cosmos are planning to cheat. Klaus, where have you been? Finding out the truth. Also, I brought you guys some orange pieces. Yeah. Listen, guys, the game is rigged. Uh, how? Largo Lar! The kid from the rigged strength test is a ball boy. That can't be a coincidence, right? What if that wasn't the only thing rigged at Wild West World? The one shot showdown! I knew that ball moved weirdly. So Cosmos are gonna sneak on a rigged ball for the shootout. But where are they hiding it? <gasps> no one can stand up to me. 
Because I'm the Cosmos Star. I shine in the day and I shine in the night. Here we go, folks. It's all about who can keep cool under pressure. Here you go, kid. Hold it right huh? there. Shakes is up first. Can he get his team off to the start they need? Yeah, all right! Ooh. Now Cosmos are up. <laughs> Big Ball went the right way, but he couldn't quite get there. Well, well, well. You finally showed up. I thought you'd be too yellow to face me. Ha! Ah, shows what you know. I'm mostly red. Besides, it doesn't matter what you look like on the outside. It's what you have on the inside that counts. Oh, ain't that sweet. Everyone's a unique snowflake. No, no, no. You misunderstand. The rigged ball. I know it's inside your suit. And I'm taking it from you. It's over. Give us the ball. C come and get it. I'm the Cosmos Star. It's up to the penalty takers now, I suppose. It's two apiece in the penalty shootout, and the Super Striker's captain steps up. Now that's leading by example. Can Cosmos keep things even? Tiger to take the fourth penalty for Super Strikers. Advantage to the men in red in the final. This is not how it's meant to happen. Where's that confounded ball? Huh? <laughs> it all comes down to this penalty. If Big Bo saves it, it's all over. Looks like Ninja has a problem with the match ball. That. Super Striker snatched a seat of their landslide victory from the mouth of jaw-dropping defeat that will go down as history in the making!
thinking. Now that's commentary, Brenda. <laughs> Gotta hand it to you, Klaus. You really owned it as Lenny. Actually, I'm over here. Uh, then who's in the suit? It's the best mascot I've ever met. No one deserves to be Lenny more than her. <laughs> Thanks. But you'll always be Deputy Chili Dog to me. Oh, that's so sweet. But it's Rebecca, actually. <laughs> So, you're in the middle of the ocean. No land in sight. Behind you, Mondo Kahuna, the world's biggest, gnarliest wave. What do you do? Paddle till your arms burn, and then one, two, three, hop up! And then you get some lunch. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, dude! Totally ruined my shot. Huh, for your fake reality survival show? It isn't fake. It's test footage. If I want to get my own series, I gotta show producers I got the chops to pull it off. Speaking of pulling off chops, grub's ready. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm, huge snowstorm heading for the Fortress Stadium. So we're leaving early to do some extreme conditions training. Up against Iron Tank? At the Fortress Stadium. Smack in the middle of the storm of the century. <laughs> what do you do? Tactical Division, progress report. The drillers have been working double time, Colonel Von Pushup. We expect to find it in a matter of minutes. Ya yeah, nine, you have been drilling for over three weeks. Why do you expect to find it now? Captain Uber, sir. I use statistical probability to determine that the longer we look for the artifact, the more likely it is we will find it. Hmm. Alps, we're gonna need some serious survival skills. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how will we ever survive these only partially reclining seats? Huh? I a tank? What are they doing down there? Salutations, team! Hey, Prof. Hey, prof. Hi, Prof. According to my, um, calculations, a nearby cyclonic snowstorm enhanced by catabatic mountain winds means that in 48 hours, the weather will be inclement. Okay, that's fine, because we're in the Alps. <sighs> I mean, the climate will be intemperate, El Matador. No, 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 no. We're in the Alps. The weather's going to be bad. What? I was just trying to help. As Northshaw said, Playing Iron Tank during a megastorm is going to take some serious survival skills. And I know just the place we'll learn them. Day two. We're rendezvousing with the Coachmeister. The best place to find the conditions we can expect at the fortress? Up. This is cool. And I don't mean cool, cool. I mean cold, cool. With conditions already this bad, you can only imagine what it's gonna be like when that storm hits the Alps this weekend. <laughs> huh? Shanks? Shanks? What are you doing, dude? Survival 101, bro. Always stick together. Whoa! <laughs> 
Fine, fine, I'm coming. Finally! Huh? What took you so long? It's greater than I could have even imagined. This is discovery. We will become the ultimate winter footballers. Blagoglar! Gnarly kids. Yeah. Toasty. Yes, that's more like it. Prof's new thermal kit should keep you comfortable in the cold. Now, meet your training opponents. The trees? Iron tank are substantially bigger than us. So our advantage will be speed and agility. Ha <laughs> ha! Easy! I'll just do a classic move like the El Mata Spill! <laughs> but the freezing temperature and swirling wind make conditions slippery. So what do you do? You'll be playing with special elongated studs for grip. Hand over the long guys, coach. We'd treat you to what it's going to feel like to lose. That was a rather wooden performance. Guys! It seems I uh, may have gotten my calculation slightly incorrect. Looks like the storm is actually going to set in, well, right now. Ah, uh, this isn't good, dudes. Anyone got any ideas? <clears throat> Say it. Ain't gonna happen, brother. Come on. No ways. You know you wanna. All right, all right, all right. What do you do? We need branches, some pine cones, and a whole lot of determination. The storm has moved in early. Excellent. Some perfect training conditions for the Victor Footballer Program. The information we have gathered from you know what? We'll make this storm seem like a stroll on the beach. But this weather is the first we have seen in decades. Perhaps. But the data I have attained from, mm hmm comes from thousands of years ago. The Ice Age. Come match day, we will freeze Super Strikers out of the game. <laughs> day three. We dug into the snow to create a hidey hole, sheltering us from the elements overnight. With the wind gusting up to 20 knots, wind chill took the temp down to way below freezing. Uh, north? Yes, Cool Joe? Thanks for saving our skin, brother. What do you do is a hit in my books. No sweat, dude. But we've got to make it out of here if that first episode's ever going to get made. Huh. <laughs> Not likely, guys. That storm's still in full. Oh! Shake the blow! Shakes! Step aside, gents! You can't be serious, man. Guys, our buddy's down there somewhere. And North is the only one with the skills to go after him. What? 
He is. Day three and a half, and your teammate has fallen through the ice. All you have is a rope and your wits. What do you do? Not that. Whoa. Huh? But what do I and Tank want with a frozen caveman? I can't find it. Ah. Have you seen it? You won't believe it. Truly incredible. Guess what happened to Thor's great, 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 great grandfather? I don't know what you're talking about. Come on. Do the face. No. Come on. I don't want to. That's an order. <sighs> <laughs> Gives you meaning to the term dead ringer. <laughs> Attention! Enough silliness. The Super Strikers game is in one day only. We are here to. Is that. Hey, Thor, I think your great great granddad is trying to tell us something. He's not my granddad, okay? Don't worry, rescue party's here, Shakes, bro. Intruders! Spies! Get them! You're in a cave with a frozen Iceman, and I and Tank are after you. What do you do? Jump! <laughs> How to outrun these guys. Yeah, Mondo Kahuna. The giant wave. I thought you made that up. Everything on my show is real, Shakes. One, two, three, pop up. Sign of anyone. Okay, return to cave for the next phase of the winter footballer program. 10 4, Colonel. <laughs> this real enough for you? Wow! Oh, cool! Oh, wow! Is this real? <laughs> Quite remarkable! An impeccably preserved specimen! No, 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 no! This is not a specimen, it's an ice man! So, Prof, can you tell us more about him? He lived in the last Ice Age! You mean colder than this? I'm considerably cool, Joe. At that time, the whole of the planet was covered in ice. And I and Tank are studying a guy who lived through it. Guys, don't worry about this. We have our winter kit. We have our studs. We're ready for whatever I and Tank or the weather throws at us. I don't feel the cold. Iron Tank versus Super Strikers. Who has the edge? 
This game really comes down to which team is better prepared for the conditions. Super Strikers are better prepared than we thought. Special studs. Very clever. I hope your great 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 grandfather delivers. Ha! Of course he will. <laughs> He's not my grandfather, okay? Don't worry. Super Strikers may be faster than us now, but soon the cold will slow them down. This is not the ending I had planned for my first episode, Shakes. We were prepared for the cold, but not this. Yeah, dude. This game is slipping away from us. Hmm. Maybe slipping is how we can outrun them. Mondo Kahuna? Mondo Kahuna. Mondo Kanuni Wadi, huh? You guys have been talking to Prof too much. Just get me the ball. I and Tank will be looking to capitalize on their home ground advantage right about now. Super Strikers are in hot water here. And so is Mac. <laughs> I knew you'd like that one. <laughs> Meanwhile, Shakes is having troubles of his own. Let's see if Iron Tank can make this 2-1. Fantastic save from Big Bo. And he sent it straight to North Shaw. Cold, Brenda. Ugh. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, you nailed it! Yeah, Coach was right. Beat an Iron Tank did take some major survival skills. Given the um, circumstances, it seems only appropriate to be your overwhelmingly laudatory. Um... See? I'm not the only one who doesn't understand this guy. What I mean is... You guys totally rocked that! Woo -woo! <laughs> <laughs> You've uncovered an ice dude, trained in sub-zero temperatures, and beaten Iron Tank at the Fortress Stadium. Now, what do you do? You go back to Sunny Striker Land. Fire up the barbecue. And watch the most awesome survival reality show ever. I'm North Shaw, and this is What Do You Do? <laughs> right on, man. I'm alive. Nice. <laughs> 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 Say goodbye to your great, 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 great grandfather for. Mm, he's not my great grandfather. Which this was a stupid idea anyway. Sure. Guess you can't learn anything about soccer from a nice man after all.